Hello everyone, my name is Nerlan Valsain and I am a second year student from Miami, Florida, majoring in pre-nursing. So currently I stay in Palmetto South, last year I stayed in Young, and I've got to say it is a sort of upgrade considering how much more space I have, the kitchen, the living area, and I'm now no longer sharing the bathroom with the whole floor. So I've got to say it's definitely something to look forward to as you know, progress through your years here at FAMU. Now, one of my favorite things about staying in Palmetto has to be the kitchen. I have a full refrigerator, a full stove, and I can bring little amenities like a blender and stuff like that. It makes it a little more homey. As well as the living room, it has furniture, you can put your TV, a lamp, curtains, all that good stuff. And it's actually great, you know? It's what you make it, and family really does make you feel at home. The housing staff is always here to support you however they can. They're always a phone call away or a text away if you're in the group meet. And I've got to say, I couldn't have been happier. Now, as for my transition from Young to Palmetto South, Young was one of those rooms that was a double, and so I didn't have like a kitchen, I didn't have a living area, and I shared a bathroom with the floor. And you know, it was great. I actually loved my roommate. We had a great time. It was a pleasure. I also made some friends on the floor and next door at Samson, the RAs were cool. But you know, going from a smaller, more compact space to a bigger space here like Palmetto South, it was a little, you know, different considering all the things that I would also have to buy, which are not necessary. It's optional, of course, like blenders and you know, like little waffle makers, but um, definitely love it. So. As for the space in my room, this year, you know, with the COVID happening, I got the room to myself and it's me and one other person here. And it's great, it's really what you make it. We've decorated the living room, the kitchen, and put little scent plugins everywhere. You'll love it, it's what you make it. Now, as for the conveniency of living on campus, you are in walking distance of anything from the stadium for the football game, the rec center, the library, literally anywhere that you wanna be on campus, you can walk. And the Venom is also available if you don't feel like walking. It's very convenient. There's a tracker on the FAMU app and it allows you to know when the next Venom is coming. Another thing about being on campus is a lot of the dorms and facilities have printers and computers available for you to use. You always have your RAs at the front desk or a call or text away. It's also great for when you're just on a run and you wanna get somewhere, you forgot something in class, let's say, walk right on back. You don't have to plan ahead for any of those things like that. And again, the Venom is a great resource to use. Love it. So I already know what you guys are here for. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the room, show you around the apartment, and let you see what you're looking for. So here in the kitchen, you have a full-size sink, two sides, and you also have the full-size stove that I mentioned earlier. The stove does come with like an oven light. It's very, very convenient. You have a full-size cabinet that you can share with your roommates, the full-size fridge, and you can really make it what you want it to be. See here, I put my own candy basket, little things here for when I have my keys with me. You really make it feel like home. I already have my oven mitts my washcloths, all of these good things, you make it feel like home. So advice I have for incoming freshmen, do a lot of online shopping, that way you can pick up your stuff and not have to load everything back down here or up here, depending on where you're from. It's a lot easier, a little more convenient, just shop early, that way the stores will already have what you need. You can do the pick up in store option with Walmart, Target, um, some other stores just do delivery, but you know, the mailing center is available for stuff like that. Go ahead and order online. Make sure that when you get here, your stuff is also here. That way when you're getting ready to move on in, you have your wagon and you're pulling everything in at once. And you don't have to do all that extra shopping or feel like you're just packing the car with too much stuff. So this here is my room. Right here you have the closet space. Normally you would just get one, but because I have the room to myself, I have both of them. You get the whole chest and it's full with like six drawers and you have the top space to put whatever you like. I also took the second chest here with the four drawers. When you have like a roommate, you'll get one or the other and then you'll pick which closet space that you guys like. It does come with two desks. So I did take both of them. I use this one for schoolwork and I use that one for like makeup. 
I did put the two beds together and so I have like that California King type of setup, but you can really make the room what you want it to be. I already put my pictures up and the little stickers, but make sure that when you are decorating, you're using like painter's tape or something that won't take off the paint off the walls. I also, you know, brought my own microwave and refrigerator from last year, of course. The kitchen already has, you know, everything that you would probably need, except for the microwave that I did bring. But, you know, just for convenience, if I didn't feel like walking all the way to the kitchen, I did bring my own microwave and refrigerator. I do have two little garbage cans and I made the film. I made it feel like home, you know? You have space to put in what you would need. So don't try to like pack up your whole life and then bring it over here with you, but pack reasonably, pack for the weather, pack for like the different activities that you think you wanna be a part of. And it's definitely what you make it. Well, y'all, this is the bathroom. So this is the handicapped bathroom, which is why the door swings outward and stuff. So you have the whole sink, you have the toilet. The toilets do not come with lids, literally. So that's why I did that myself. But I put up the shower curtains and the carpet or whatever, but you can pick whatever you want. It does come with the shower rod. So bring your shower curtain with the hooks and you have a full size mirror. It's not like one of those bulletproof mirrors that are like darker, it's a regular clear mirror. You have all the handles and you have a plug here and the lights are automatic. So they'll come on, it's like through a sensor type of thing. And that's pretty much it. They give you the toilet paper holder. You just bring your own toilet paper, bring everything that you would to like clean the bathroom. However you want the bathroom to look, you would buy that stuff. The bathroom comes bare, I'll tell you that much. But that's all. Well, y'all, that was it. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching the video. If you see me on campus, go ahead and say hi. This is what my living experience has been like. This is what the bathroom is like, the kitchen, the room. If you have any questions, you know, housing, they're free to, you know, answer all of those questions. A lot of them are online and they're already answered. But it was a pleasure, you know, doing this for you guys. So if anything, say hi on campus, ask questions if you like. See y'all on the hill.